you want some t-shirt transformation ideas, this video is for you. So if you have t-shirts, if you thrift t-shirts and you want to recycle them, upcycle them into something new, you are gonna like this, okay? So I took a t-shirt and I transformed using another piece that I also thrifted and I transformed that t-shirt into a new piece. And there's a bonus, if you stay until the end, I'll show you how you can transform a t-shirt into a tank top that fits you nicely, all right? So I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. By the way, I'm Vanya. Welcome to Wardrobe School. Here's where you learn how to upcycle clothes for yourself or to sell, okay? Give a like to the video, send it to your friends, and subscribe, it doesn't hurt you, all right? Thank you, let's get into it. So what do we need for this project, right? We need the t-shirt. Uh, this one I got from a thrift store, but you might have just t-shirts laying around your house or somebody give it to you. So any t-shirt, as long as it's stretchy and not too stretchy if you're a beginner, but you know, regular t-shirt. Uh, and then scissors, I like, you know, those are for fabric. And then I also like to use for cutouts and stuff like little scissors. And sewing pins is very useful. Your iron is very important the sewing machine and the thread, right? So I have this thread that's this color, but I'm also, it's similar, right? It's not the same, but I might just use um, white thread because of the applique I'm gonna do. Then on top of that, you need some kind of piece to apply to the shirt. And you know, I've, I've at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you other pieces that I made with uh, lace, for instance. So you can find a piece that has lace or sometimes a piece that has an embroidery part already or something that you, you find on other garment that you like and you want to transfer to this pattern so that's the idea for this video and look i have two examples for you right so one is this vest look it's a very cool embroidered vest that has uh two types of embroidery actually it looks like it's unfinished or so that was the idea of the i don't know if it's proposal but look in purples right but this is the uh, they stopped embroidery here but think about it you could applicate this on another piece and but the thing is this is denim, right? Denim is too heavy and that's important. You cannot like match a very heavy fabric with uh, jersey. It's gonna be, you know, you can, but it's gonna be hard and it's not gonna look very good because the, you know, this is too heavy for that material. So then I found this one and pretty much like I come up with my creation sometimes in the thrift store, when I'm in the thrift store, because I look at it and I'm like, oh my God, I have to, do something right so i was thinking of doing this video about cycling pieces and then i found this one and so i was like oh okay i gotta i gotta work with this one and look it's hand embroidered and uh but it's for children right so i could give to a child but i don't have any child around me and i really love the embroidery if you follow my instagram by the way follow my instagram if you haven't yet and uh, you're gonna see how I love embroidery. So I really appreciate this piece and I wanna wear it, right? So why not um, cut this and place on our t-shirt, on the red t-shirt that I have. So that's what this video is gonna be about. I'll show you how I do that so then it doesn't fall apart and it works and it's wearable and beautiful, all right? And so then you see how I have the whole piece, right? for the chest and a little bit of the back. Right now, what I'm gonna do is to remove this piece. And look, since it's a t-shirt, right? It's like knit, it won't unravel, so I can just cut it. If it was fabric, sometimes if it's woven fabric, you have to do another process. I teach that in my program in Remakers. We have, uh, we do one monthly project and the current project is actually applique that's why i'm working with different appliques and in that case i do with uh, lace and then i teach how you do so it won't unravel just so you know all right and uh but this one it's knit so i just gonna cut it around the actual embroidery being careful to not cut the embroidery itself from the thread of the embroidery and voila we have the piece, right? It's like if we bought this <laughs> ready and we're good. So now I'm gonna press this so it's very flat and then we're gonna apply here. To apply to this t-shirt, I also need to open up the t-shirt, okay? So fearlessly, I'm just gonna open up and have like a flat because it's easier. You could applique this uh, without the t-shirt open, but since it's a t-shirt, you know, it's not gonna change much. I can just cut it open and then change. And I might do some change to the t-shirt uh, armhole as well, I'm thinking of, so keep watching, okay? 
I'm gonna open it up now. There's the seam here, so it's easy. I can even use the big one. Gotta iron both of the pieces so they are nice and smooth to join each other. Now my t-shirt is ironed and I'm also gonna remove the sleeve, okay? So this is gonna be a sleeveless top and the thing is, it's usually weird when you do that, when you just remove the sleeve. So I have a little trick. I'm gonna show you how I'll fix this problem. Because if you just remove a sleeve from a t-shirt, it will just not fit well. It will be like open on the sides and stuff, all right? The reason I'm removing, one is because it's super hot. It's summer now and it's super hot in New York. And the other reason is it has some armpit stain and it's gross, so. Gotta get rid of that. All right, and here we have the shirt. And what we're gonna do is to apply our piece here. Right, that's it. For that, I just fold. So I found where the folding line of this piece is, and then I did like that. And so I know that the shoulder should be lined here. And look, it's different, right? Because this is a children's piece and this is an adult piece, so the and it's different, a different pattern. So it shouldn't kind of like work perfectly. But here's the thing, we just need to attach the outline. You don't really need to worry about this part. So basically, as long as this is straight and it's, I really just eye it, you know, make sure, make sure the shoulder is sort of lined up here. And then that this is straight look kind of straight right because it's all handmade so it's not very perfect but this is good enough so i'm going to pin it and then i'll fold and pin the back as well and then i can start sewing and voila look so as long as this is attached like the length is good i'm good so now i just need to zigzag around it right so in the edge i'm gonna zigzag it and i'm gonna use white thread because i don't really have this blue but i think white is fine all right, and then I'll show you how we finish it and then do the tank top. And there it is. Look, I actually did two uh, rounds, you know, the zigzag to be safe. It looks a little wonky because the size is different, but look how this is gonna save <laughs> the whole thing. So now we remove the old part, right? Just cut this. And then the original collar now is gonna be the blue one, the embroidered one. Be careful to not cut the thread and go. And that's it, look. Right, we got a new shirt. But the thing is, I can't really wear like that because it was weird. So now I'm gonna transform into a size that fits me. Now, here's the problem. The armhole, it's, weird because when you have the t-shirt it fits you know it just covers but when it's a tank top i don't know if you ever tried to cut out a t-shirt transform into a tank top it's always like like that punk vibe you know which is cool you know when i was younger i used a word like that but now i just want like a nice fitted t-shirt uh, tank top right so the thing is you have to retrace it and for that i have a pattern that's no big deal it's just a pattern that i made uh, I trace from another piece that fits me. By the way, if you want to learn how to trace a shirt from your own shirt so you can have this basic pattern to do different designs that you want, I have this free course. It's like a free challenge that you can join and you learn. It's very well done and it'll help you to make your own pattern, okay? The link is here. Just join and then you can take the class, all right? And so we're gonna use this pattern to retrace the armhole of the t-shirt or the, and then make into a tank top, all right? So here's how we do it. We have to fold it in half, and uh, the t-shirt is wonky, not only because we applied this, that's, that was a strange size, but also because t-shirts, you know, on, when they are used after many washes, the cotton jersey just gets wonky. It's there's nothing you can do about it, right? So we have to make it work as is. So then I fold it, I wanna fold it in half. Before, I found the shoulder line here, right? 
and I try to make it like as straight as possible. It's not gonna be perfect, but hey, it's not an Oscar. We're not trying to get an Oscar, right? We just wanna make a recycled tank top. Okay, so after you find the shoulder line, you just need this really to have like a reference. So the armhole, the curve of the armhole makes sense. And in this case, what would make sense for me? So the shoulder have to match both of the shoulder, but you see how here, and then it has to be in an angle, right? Like that, sort of. And even if I go a little further here because um, my t-shirt is not as wide, you see how I don't have enough material here for me to trace the entire armhole, right? That's when I have to patch it. And honestly, like I have another system to do that. I've done like a lot of upcycled like that to transform tops, the shirts with a sleeve into sleeveless. And I, I actually cut before I remove the sleeve. I'll show you this in another time. This time I'm just gonna show you how you do after, all right? Because we had to open the t-shirt in this case to do the applique. So now I'm gonna take pieces of my t-shirt. Remember I have like the two sleeves and this piece and then I'll patch it. I'm gonna add a piece, uh, and it doesn't show much because it's under the arm. So I'm gonna patch that and then I can cut it. Now with the patches, I have room. I just wanna line it up, line up everything very nicely. So then when I cut it, it's right. And then place my pattern on top and cut it. Look. See how now I have the curve here, right? And I'll like do like that, so then I can uh, go down the line of the shirt. trim the side as well just a little bit and then it's cut I trim the hem and now all I have to do is to finish my tank top and voila we have a tank top now I'm gonna show you how it fit in and all but before I'm gonna show you the other piece I did with the woven piece right how I did with lace so then you get an inspiration then I'll show you how it fits on me but it's there it's made yeah, so here is the one that we did in Remakers this month. Look, it's lace, right? And uh, the, the process is similar. There's a little few more steps that you have to do to make sure it's secure because it's not um, jersey, right? There's also this one that I wanted to show you just so you get inspired. Um, so took this Battenberg lace and applied to a linen shirt and look how it brings like such a joy to the piece, right? Mm -hmm. 